What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistra 01 is here, and finally, 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 Sniper Goes Word Contracts is available, and you can play it right now. It is time to do our walkthrough. This is something I've been waiting for for a while, so we're going to go ahead and start up a new game. We're going to be playing this on the hardest difficulty as well. Greetings, mercenary. I represent a third party who wishes to make use of your specialist skills. We are aware of your usual fees and are comfortable meeting the cost. In fact, we have several contracts for you to execute. All are in the newly formed Siberian Republic. As you are aware, Siberia was once part of the Russian Federation, which used Siberia's huge natural resources to bolster Russian economic success. But Siberia did not gain from this relationship. In fact, it was merely exploited and used. A political movement was established. The people for an independent Siberia. Even the regional governor, Nergui Kurchatov, was swept up in the wave, joining the movement and cutting off Siberia from the Kremlin. The Siberian War of Independence followed. Russia's armies contained many Siberians and defections were rife. The war was over quickly. Kurchatov became Siberia's first prime minister, governing his new country with his family and friends. But, like many before them, Kurchatov and his allies hoarded this wealth and ordinary Siberians were once again left wanting. Betrayed and angry, a militia formed, calling themselves the Siberian Wolves, and they declared war against their government. They attacked oil fields and stole state assets. Their leader, Nastya Surikova, has now become a hero to the people and Kurchatov's nemesis. Our proposal comes with one requirement. You will need to wear a new high-tech mask we supply. It will facilitate direct communication between us. But there are other benefits for you, including combat enhancements. My designation will be Handler. Yours will be Seeker. I look forward to working with you. All right. So, as I said before, this is going to be pretty much a stealth, complete stealth walkthrough on the hardest difficulty setting. So, we're going to be doing this, obviously, mission by mission. First mission up is going to be Bashkit Proving Ground. Hopefully, you guys enjoy, and let's begin. Make sure you guys leave a like. Let me know what your favorite Sniper Ghost Warrior game is. I will have up in the top right corner of the screen all of my other Sniper Ghost Warrior walkthroughs that you can check out if you want to catch up on what's going on in the story uh, up, up to that point. And I want to give a big thanks to CI Games for allowing me to play this, guys, for you all. They were so gracious enough to let me have it super, super early and to be able to get a lot of videos out over the past few months. So big shout out to them for allowing me to be able to do that. And of course, without further ado, ladies and gents, it's go time. Greetings, Seeker. You should have already received the mask. It is a highly advanced prototype that enhances your capacity in the field and syncs with your equipment. The mask allows you to upload contracts data to the client after each mission. Before we drop you in the designated location, we want to make sure you understand the tech we've given you. For this purpose, you'll be taken to a secure training facility hidden in a secluded mountain location. You're going to perform a series of simple tasks to familiarize yourself with the mask and for us to make the necessary adjustments. Report back when you're at the location, Seeker. Ready for action. There's a training weapon nearby. Gear up. I am playing the PC version. Take a prone position. First, switch your mask to binocular mode. Now, try to mark the target over there. Tagging enemies allows you to measure the distance to selected targets and keep track of them. Alternatively, you can use our new dynamic reticle system to measure your target's distance. Take 
Take out your rifle and see for yourself. Compare target's height to DRS display in the upper left corner of your scope. It should tell you how far away the target is. This system scales up the display according to your current zoom stage. I believe I don't have to remind you to hold your breath to stabilize your stance. Now, shoot this target. Aim for the head. Torso wounds are not always lethal. If you want an instant kill, aim for the head. That's why I shot there, because I wanted to make sure you guys know that if you don't do something, you can still get a little bit more information on it to make sure that you do it uh, correctly. Well done. Proceed to the next one. Let's try a greater distance. Notice your mask's input on distance and wind. It will help you aim. Check the distance and wind direction. Aim for a headshot. are not always lethal. If you want an instant kill, aim for the head. Good. You can move to the next one. It's easier to aim with your scope calibrated according to the target's distance. I've marked the distance for you. Set your scope elevation to 280. By calibrating your scope properly, you won't have to manually adjust your aim up or down to compensate for the range. So it's all pretty much self-explanatory, 356, so it's better to go for this one, so about halfway between. Might be a little high. No, we got it. Nice. So go for 220. Now you can also use your binoculars. If you set right here and you look at how big the target is, you can see that it's in between 200 to 300. So that means it's going to be about 262, 250. And last but not least, we'll do this one out here. 373. So you're gonna have to go three and then in between four. Well done. I've unlocked the gateway to the training grounds. As you can see, the pretty easy to use. Beyond is at your disposal if you want to practice before your first contract. Our training facility will always be available for you should you want to polish your skills in the pick up one of the weapons to try out different sets of special ammo. This technology will increase your options in the field and allow you to be more creative. All right, so when you're in binocular mode, you're gonna press H to tag enemies. Tag up the two targets. One and two, and then press G to get rid of the first and to get rid of the second. You can do the same again. G, G. And last but not least, there you go. Very easy to use. Let's do some tagging. Press Z in order to switch to tagging. And now tagging, all that does is just allowing you to be able to tag targets that are behind the wall. So it's just a meter, it's just a matter of aiming close to the target and then you should be fine. As you can see, it marks the targets, then they come out and then you can press Z to go back to sniper bullets and you got a target that's 163 away. 
and then you can pretty much fire from there. 163. So in between here, but that's a lot. Uh, let's see about right there. Perfect. Now you also have luring. Simple. You just. I didn't. <laughs> That's hilarious. I actually accidentally actually hit the target and <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. That was like an amazing shot there. Well, I meant to do that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I meant to do that. I gotta show you DARPA here. DARPA's pretty cool. DARPA is your get out of jail free bullet. So DARPA means, well, I'm pretty much a badass and no matter where, no matter how much wind, doesn't matter what I'm, what's going on, I'm gonna hit exactly where I am. So, wind, distance, all of that mean absolutely nothing. So, if you are a player that maybe isn't as good, DARPA's probably going to be for you. If you can get your hands on them, I'm sure they probably um, cost a heavy penny. But you also have armor piercing, so that way they'll go through specific things. Did I actually pick them up? I don't think I did. There you go. There you go. So now when you switch over to armor piercing, AP bullets, you'll shoot through targets and whatnot. This is going to be a very, very comprehensive guide. You guys are so used to kind of how I am. Let's see how big this target is. It's, uh, it's under 200. So it's still in the ones. You can see, yeah, okay, because there is a little bit of wind, so five miles an hour. But as you can see, you can shoot through. Piece cake. And there you go. Then you've also got EMP, so I guess I can show you that. This is simple. This is just to shoot specific uh, electro things. That way you at least know what's going on. So if I wanted to take out, I could shoot that right there. I don't know exactly the distance, unfortunately, so I'd have to tag something to tell me. It's 204 meters away. So if that's the case, I need to aim it to about right there. And there you go. Take out all the cameras in that network. Simple. Let's move down here. We got a short range. Now, we will be using mostly the handgun in these situations. And the reason for that is because I'm going to be stealthy. So whenever I'm actually, uh, what do you call it? Whenever I'm actually like, moving from one point to the other, we're going to be moving around with our pistol. That is more tactical. As we can get uh, good accuracy on some shots. Because once you equip an assault rifle, well, obviously you want to put a suppressor on it. But you'll see that things start to get a little crazy when it comes to aiming. A lot of, um, a lot of recoil, things like that. Not something you really want when you're trying to move from one location to the next, right? Simple, hold down the, the mouse. Again, I am playing the PC version with mouse and keyboard on this, so obviously this is going to be different than what you might be playing. You might be using controller. Nice. I think that's about really it. I mean, there's not really too much to it and whatnot. A little bit of wind. Of course, those are just EMP bullets. 
But yeah, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tutorial. I know it's a little bit of a short video, but just to give you uh, an instance of what's going to be going on, we're going to be going through completely stealthy on the hardest difficulty, only taking out the targets that we need to, and we're going to try to remain as stealthy as we can, of course, as every walkthrough that I do. If you've ever seen any of my walkthroughs and you know we don't talk during cutscenes and we try to make it a very, very um, fun but also serious experience i want to immerse you in what the game has to offer so with that being said thanks for watching i think after every mission you have a little something here and next our first actual contract up is going to be the uh alte mountains we're going to be doing all of the contracts uh so we're going to download the plans find the client spy eliminate dmitry ivanovsky destroy all the test results and steal samples of the virus every video i won't say every video but every mission that we do will have all of the contracts before we move on to the next one. So we're going for 100% on the contracts. Now, when it comes to contract details, I'm not going to be going for all of the challenges because some of the challenges uh, make us kind of go guns blazing, and that's not where we're... We're not the warrior part. We're the ghost. We're the sniper and the ghost. That is what you're going to get from this playthrough is the sniper and ghost, not the warrior part. Uh, obviously, if we have to get into a fight... Because it's scripted, that'll be the only reason we do. Other than that, there you go. And we'll be doing some, I'll show you, you know, a few things on the loadouts and whatnot. Uh, so you guys can uh, see exactly all the different weapons. So before we start each mission, we'll go in. We'll choose our weapon. And we'll choose the different, uh, the kit that we come in with. And hopefully, we'll complete the mission nice and stealth-like. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you on the first mission. Peace out.